There are tools required to remove the test mold and install your mold on the APSX PIM desktop injection molding machine. They are screwdriver, 13 mm ratcheting wrench, 316 hex bit socket, and 316 L shape hex key. Unplug the power cord and the USB cable. Plug the power cord and notice the sound coming from the stepper motors. Plug the USB to tablet PC, then wait about three seconds. Press on the system button, check the checkboxes, then press on continue. Move the mold fan assembly aside. Disconnect the mold temperature sensor. Remove the A side of the test mold. Remove the B side of the test mold. There are two mounting options for the A side of the molds. One is shoulder bolt mounting, other one is claw mounting. Shoulder bolt mounting uses the mounting holes on the mold plate. You can use 3 16 bolts that came with the machine. You can tighten the bolts on the claws to keep them away from the mold. Watch for the ejector bearing. It should not penetrate to the mold area. Pull the claws aside and slide the B-side mold down. Thank you. 
top of the mold should be snapped on and aligned to the top of the block. The claw mounting. A and B sides go together in this case. Pull the claws aside and slide the mold assembly down. Do not drop the mold, it is heavy. Hold the bottom with one hand. Top of the mold should be snapped on and aligned to the top of the block. Pull the claws aside before clamping the mold. Press on the engage clamp fast button. Press on the halt button when it hits on the nozzle plate. Tighten the claws when the mold is clamped. First, start by hand, then use the wrench. Press on the halt button, then press on the home clamp fast button to move the B side back home. Adjusting the clamp switch for ejector pins. Skip this step if you do not have the ejector pins on your mold. Loosen the clamp switch, then slide it to the right slowly until the clamping unit moves. until the ejector pins are out to eject the part properly. clamp switch too far, you may damage the mold or the claws. Move it gradually. Tighten the clamp switch. Connect the mold temperature sensor. Put the mold fan assembly back to its place. Use two nuts to mount. You are all set. <laughs>